Let's continue the coin caliper project by calibrating the camera using a simple point distance calibration step in NI Vision Assistant. I'll then show you how you can measure length in real world units. We'll switch to process images mode and I'll just show you quickly how you can dial up a selected image. So these are the sample images that we collected earlier of the various coins from around the world. I'll select the ruler image and make that the current image. I'm going to select the image calibration step. Click new calibration and then select point distance calibration. This is the calibration technique that uses the least amount of computational effort and it also assumes that your camera is more or less ideal. I'm going to pick a distance that's in the center of the image. I don't want it to be too short, but also I don't want it to get too close to the periphery where the lens distortion gets higher. Right now I'm zooming in trying to find that 60 millimeter mark. All right, I'll then click at the edge of the ruler as close as I can to the 60 millimeter mark. Scroll over, find the 90 millimeter mark and that establishes the second point. Then we indicate the real world units. This is 30 millimeters. The unit that you select defines the standard unit for all reported measurements. And you'll notice that you have many different options in addition to millimeters. I'll next do the X axis point. I'll just go with the default and that's defining it in the upper left corner here. Almost done, click OK. And it's now prompting to save the calibration file someplace. And I'll save this in the same location as the coins image. I'll use today's date as well as a simple descriptive phrase. So that way I can remember how this calibration file was created. I'll point out that when this step is selected, you can then see the calibration axes. I'm going to click OK, and then in the same area of processing functions, come back here to measure. Go ahead and click that step, select length, and let's just try representative length here. I'll hold my shift button down to constrain the mouse motion and then select 20 millimeters. And right here we see the length reported in real world units, and the 20.2 is within 1% of the expected value.